Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm Lauren Gilgan with The Daily Olivian and today we're doing a sit down with Principal Mrs. Kavanaugh. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much, Lauren. All right, so I guess we'll just start off with the first question. Um, overall, how do you think the quarter went? Did your expectations match reality? My expectations definitely matched my reality if they didn't exceed it. Um, I feel um, really grateful that I got to spend so much time in my first six months in this role connecting with students, parents, faculty members, staff members, uh, making that a priority to get to know people was one of the best decisions that I made and I'm so thankful to everybody for being willing to talk with me and share their stories. I still feel like I have a lot to learn about OA and about our goals and what makes, uh, I, I've learned so much about what makes this community special and there's just so much more that I, I need to learn. Um, but overall, uh, I think it went really well and I think that from, in terms of my expectations, everybody was just so welcoming. Um, and that was something that definitely exceeded my expectations. It was, um, it was a, just, a, just a wonderful transition into the role. Mm -hmm. um, so you mentioned like a way where some things make us unique, like what's an example of that? Make you unique? Yeah. You know, um, the, the proud, I would say the proud traditions and the history of the town come into the school setting, right? So um, even as you walk the halls, whether it's the quotes on the wall or the murals of different places around town, you can see how much this community values education and how much this building values the community. That's definitely something that makes you guys unique. Yeah. Um, what do you think went well this first quarter? Um, you know. Coming in as a brand new um, administrator and coming off of a year and a half of um, really unpredictable and unprecedented teaching and learning, um, my, my hope was that we would focus on building connections and relationships, and I think that that went really well. Um, the teachers uh, took so much time and effort into making sure that they built learning communities in each of their classes um, that were uh, productive and safe and about connections and the students started connecting with each other off of social media which was kind of a big platform for you guys during the pandemic for communicating um, so we still have we always still have more work in that area but really um, that went really well in the first quarter um, so what are you looking to bring over from your last school mm -hmm. um, any like events or strategies yeah good question you know every school has um, has something s strong that you could bring to another place. Um, you know, I, I would say that, um, you know, OA already has some really great events and um, activities planned throughout the year. Um, I don't know if there's anything new that I would change, but I would definitely want to hear from the students about what they're looking for in ways that they can celebrate each other and celebrate the school. Um, I would say if there was one thing I would bring over is that in some of the other schools I've worked with, we have, um, like a peer mentor system that can really support tr uh, transfer students when they come into the school and acclimating and getting to know other kids or support the freshmen throughout the year um, on um, acclimating to the high school. And so that might be something that I'd be interested in talking with this community about to see if they would be interested in starting a program like that. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you feel about always overall school spirit? Do you think there's like room for improvement at all? Yeah, I mean, OA in general had really great school spirit during the spirit week and um, I can just see how much we value um, the school spirit days, the holidays, the times where we come together as a community um, to do fun things and celebrate each other. I think in terms of room for improvement, I think that when we do have these days, there are often populations in our school that um, don't feel included. And so that's a room for improvement, and I don't think that's um, something that's isolated just to all of our aims. I think that we see that across high schools, um, but that how do we become a more inclusive environment so that when we structure day, things like school spirit weeks, school-wide events, that um, everybody feels there's a place where they belong in that space. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that's important for, uh, definitely for spirit week, and then just, I'm sure you agree, just overall. Absolutely, yep. Um, so what has been your favorite moment so far from quarter school one? School year? Um, oh, good question. I have so many favorite moments. <laughs> um, so, the, so, so traditionally the day before Thanksgiving break is always my favorite day of the school year. Um, I feel like there's an energy in the building of, um, of joy and relief. And when you put those two together, it just brings happiness. So that was a great day. Seeing the halls decorated was amazing. And just seeing everybody come together and celebrate each other. And also 
exhale as we headed into like our first four days off of school. Um, I would also say that um, the first day of school was great as well. Um, just getting, you're in the school all summer long and there's no students or there's very few students. And so when that first day comes and now all of a sudden there's 1117 students walking in that door, um, yeah. that was a great feeling too. Yeah, especially coming back from last year, like the first time. I mean, I was fully online, so coming back to just a full school, it was, it was really nice. It was definitely special. I agree with you on that. Um, how did you feel when the anti-Semitic events took place and what did you, um, what did it teach you about Oliver Ames? It's really hard to put into words how you feel when a group of students in your school um, are impacted so severely by such a hateful act and the decision of maybe one person. Um, it's a feeling, right? Um, so for me, um, I, I think there were lots of feelings that I felt, but I felt the urge to act mm -hmm. um, and to make sure that um, our Jewish population in school felt heard and that I spoke to students, that I reached out to the community as well, um, our Human Rights um, Committee and the um, Rabbi Card at, at uh, Temple Shalom. Mm -hmm. And so um, what I learned in that process is how open so many of our students and community members are to sharing with me their stories here in this space because this then spread on to not just Jewish students but students um, of all different backgrounds, races, religions, genders who wanted to share with me the ways in which OA could improve in making it an inclusive and supportive environment and finding, uh, creating a space where they feel like they belong. Um, and so that's I, I just learned so much from those students and faculty who reached out and I'm very appreciative of it. Um, so regarding the Swastika situation, yep. would you have done, I know it sounds like you're still working on it, yeah. um, is there anything you wish you would have done differently in terms of response maybe like, um, as soon after? Or? Yeah, um, the, I think the one thing I would have done differently is going back, I feel like I heard and spoke to many students on a more individual or small group level. And I would have, maybe going back, I would consider doing like an interview with the Olivian or talking, um, figuring out a way to communicate to the student body as a whole from my heart about how I felt about this. Um, that might have been something I would have done differently. Um, and what is one thing you've learned so far from the start of the year, <laughs> just in general about um, anything? What have I learned from the start of the year? I have, well, I mean, I've learned a lot about Oliver Ames, right? Yeah. I've learned a lot about the different um, decisions um, and uh, that you make every day as a principal. I mean, that's for sure, because it's different than when you're an assistant principal. Um, but I think that what I've lived, and I knew this coming into being a principal, but what I've actually now gotten to live is the importance of trust and relationships as a leader, and that that needs to come first. And that's something I'm working on every day. What is one thing that you admire about OA? I would say one thing that I admire about Oliver Ames High School is our commitment as a community to um, school pride, mm -hmm. school spirit, um, and making sure that um, we have different clubs and activities and things for students to find a space mm -hmm. um, to connect with others who have similar interests. Yeah, that's very important. Yep. Um, and then what is one thing that you would like to change in the coming months, years? Yeah, I think it goes back to that conversation we just had about the swastika, is mm -hmm. that we need to have more conversations about um, racial inequities, about um, stereotyping um, based on gender, religion, um, race, cultural backgrounds. And we need to really have a firm understanding of, um, of the fact that um, we need to create a school environment where there are windows and mirrors where people can see themselves in their curriculum, see themselves in the work that we do, and can also learn about each other mm -hmm. through hearing each other's stories and understanding um, the history um, that impacts the way our society is today and especially impacts our marginalized populations. Definitely. And um, what are you looking forward to in quarter two? Um, well, I, I'm really looking forward to um, 
finishing up kind of like my, I kind of consider it like my listening tour. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I want to send some, now that we've been in school for a while, I want to send some surveys out um, and hear more from students about how the beginning of this year went. So that's something I'm looking forward to. We are rolling out a new um, initiative brought on by students and faculty called the Tiger Mindset to start thinking about um, what it means to be an engaged learner in school. And I'm really excited to see how that plays out in, in quarter two. Mm, okay. Um, I think that's all. Thank you so much for you. taking the time. Great. We can talk again in a few months. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much, Lauren. Thank you.